Hello, welcome back. Last time I got acquainted my, with my surroundings, wandered around the city for a little while, didn't really know what to do, talked to some people, learned a few things, didn't actually understand how to talk. So I reviewed all the stuff that I did, hmm, uh, and got sort of an idea of a direction to go right now. So, um... There were a few people who mentioned some things. Where am I right now? I don't understand what I'm looking at. Window, trees. Uh, a couple of people mentioned some interesting things. Vern, the farmer, said, Hello, Odysseus, did you hear about the traitor? I said to him, traitor, and he didn't understand me. Uh, Antiphos, the ruler, said, Hello, Odysseus, I have news about the state of our city. I said, news, he didn't understand me. So I need to understand how to ask people about things. Uh, Damocles the seer described uh, a descent through a sewer and then a crypt and then a cavern and some other stuff. So I need to find the entrance to the sewer to get into the dungeon here. But I think maybe it would help me to read this. To talk, select talk mode. Click in the person you wish to talk to. If successful, the conversation will start in a pop-up talk window. To advance the conversation, click in this window. To end, click... Oh, okay, so close to end immediately. Great, so I don't actually have to say bye. You will not be able to move or fight while in conversation, and, and time will pass. I wish I could, like, turn that off somehow. I'd rather this be turn-based, but I guess I just have to deal with real time. Occasionally, you may receive an offer to buy and sell goods. Right, I want to see Mr. Jones at his shop. That's the other thing I'm going to do. If you accept, a commerce window will appear containing goods a person is willing to sell. To buy something, drag it to this window or into your inventory. You'll be informed. The price, option of refusal. Okay, great. Okay, that doesn't actually tell me how to talk to people, though. <laughs> like, how keywords work. Uh, let's read a few of these. To fight... Click the person or thing you want to clobber. So I could probably start a fight with the people in town if I really wanted to. Um, I have no reason to want to at the moment. Some attacks like shoot, fire a missile. Right, I don't have a like a bow or anything. Punch and swing. Right, I don't have any equipment. I have nothing. My, my slots are empty. Uh, experiment with different kinds of attacks in various situations. Great. Block or parry. Okay. Gotcha. Does block still deal damage? Hmm. Using things. Use mode. I think I figured this out already. Using keys is a two-step process. I don't have any keys yet, though. Great. Look at it. Yeah, okay. So look at items. What does the meat in my backpack look like? A perfect piece of meat. It's an edible remnant of some butchered creature. Two bites remaining, not equipable. Weight one stones, two gold pieces. Oh, 20 bites remaining on that. 10 bites remaining on this. I think this might be the boar meat. Boar meat is heavier than rat meat, unsurprisingly. Oops. I, well, you know what? Since I clicked here accidentally, let's actually look at this to just have this open. I'm going to read this just far enough to see, like, what's a sensible next step. Or if it teaches me to talk to people. <laughs> How do I talk to people? It's a skill I need. All right, character in Seer Damocles. Uh, Chaos Rats. Use the arrow keys. Oh, check it out, the arrow keys work. I don't have to click to move. All right, I already learned something useful. Great. Uh, once you get the hang of this, move up to the rats. Okay. Pick Punch. Okay, I kicked a few times. Rats left meat, great. Uh, how to pick up items, sure. Talk to the seer more closely. Okay. Okay. Sure. Chaos master, really? Okay, so this is a keyword then. How am I supposed to figure that out? Type by to leave. Okay, so I just have to know the magical keyword. So type Chaos Master with Seer Damocles to learn something. I figured out how to scroll a view. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. 
keyboard is recommended. See, I have to reach my left hand all the way over to sort of the right side of the keyboard to use the arrow keys. WASD had not been invented in 1994. <laughs> That's definitely not true, but it was not the most common convention if you want to like left hand the keyboard. Um, yeah, controls of games were, were different back in that era. Small amount of time will pass with your character unmoving but being hard to hit. Okay, gotcha. Space bar to block with the keyboard. Great. Okay, cool. Explore Athenia. Take the first tentative steps toward removing the menace. All right. I haven't found a key. Character is hungry. I understand. How do I talk to people? You must type in a word or two, not a complete sentence, naming the subject you wish to bring up. Okay. Well, sure. All right, so ask Farmer Paul about crops. I I, I tried to ask, um, what's his name, about Trader, and it did not work. Okay. Magical items that you do things. Dark dungeon. Okay, let's not bother with that yet. I can figure out how to illuminate a dungeon later. All right. Well, um, so uh, it's the middle of the night. Is woman in northeast house... Oh, right. I can, I can move with arrow keys. That's kind of noisy, but it's more comfortable. All right. It's past midnight. I want to visit Mr. Jones at his shop. That sure would be nice. Ah, okay. So I don't have to click the walk icon ever. Nice. Sure, let's look around. Theocritus, right. I talked to his wife once. Um, let's talk to him through the window. Hello, Theocritus. Ah, Odysseus, you have come to me in a time of great sorrow. What happened? My daughter, Zalus, okay, that's her name. Electra didn't tell me. Has disappeared. She was out one night and never returned. He seems on the verge of tears. My daughter, my heart, my life, our only child, gone. Kidnapped, no doubt, by the minions of chaos. That's what Electra thought, too. I'm so sorry. If there's anything I can do... I know you're on a quest to save the city, Odysseus. But if you can find her, bring me word of her. Anything to let me know how she is, I'd be so grateful. Okay. So no keywords here. Alright, so since I'm prompted sometimes... Okay, Achilles. Here, can you tell me about the payroll? No, I don't get any keywords. All right, let's try Seer Damocles. My stomach growls. Sure, I'll worry about that later. So this is what I'm supposed to type to you, huh? What do you know of the Chaos Master? He is a presence that sees and hears all we do, but can only sporadically direct himself for action. He has infinite power, but can rarely use it effectively. He relies instead on servants to accomplish his will, who are bound more firmly to the principles of order. Yet if he were to achieve his focus and overwhelm this plane, all principles of order would become meaningless, and the land would become like a great ocean without form or law. I want, I want, ah, dang it. I wanted time to pause while I was doing that. Oh boy. Do I just not get that option? I guess not. Uh, and the land would become like a great ocean without form or law. Yet, despite, I feel time pressure to read this quickly because I want to get to Mr. Jones's shop before before I starve and before the sun sets. Uh, divine power personified in mortal body. Stand you must endure. Uh, if you destroy that mortal body, you will destroy the foothold he's gained in our world, though the principle he embodies is unchanging. Do you know anything more about his powers? Uh, power of cosmic principle. At the end of my dream... Saw the face of a god. Odysseus is the one. Call him and he will come. Command him and he will fight. His duty is strong. Okay. Yet even the mortal man, most beloved of the gods, may fail. Old Priam of Troy. Okay. All right. The ring of true wisdom. All right. So that's what I can learn from him. So, Mr. Jones, is your shop open right now? Yes, it is. Here we go. You're the one I want to see. Mr. Jones, old man of Athena's only surviving business. He waits solic solicitatiously for customers. Good day, Mr. Jones. Hello, Odysseus. Care to buy something? Yes. Uh, what do you have? Uh, I'm going to look at your wares. 
Perfect torch. Bright burning torch of fragrant pine. 5,000 minutes of light remaining. Great. Are those game minutes? Probably. Because, like, real-time minutes, that would last effectively forever. So it gives me some attack. That sounds nice. I would very much like this for one gold pieces. Yes, I will probably buy that torch. Smelling salts. Burns away the vaporous effects of stun. Okay, so stun is a thing. 15 gold pieces. A bit expensive. I have 25 right now. Wizard Eye Potion. Oh, I remember using this. Yeah, okay. So I think this, like, detaches a magical floating eyeball that I can use to explore without taking my body there, so it's safer. Major Wand. Stuns. Strikes several enemies at once. Nice. Wand. Minor Wand. Okay. Scepter of Teleportation. Ooh, cool. Wow. All right, so nifty items here. Scepter of Friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I could just barely afford that. Win friends and influence people. Okay, then. Monster treat. Negative five attack bonus. Lure when thrown. Great. Athlete's potion. Okay, so make faster. So I need to figure out how to earn money. Uh, potion of Heroism. All right, so probably just like, yeah, attack bonus 10, defense bonus 10. Great. Gonna buy a torch, almost certainly. Uh, this sounds nice, too. Restores 10 health and 10 stamina. Hold on, there's stamina? Okay, Greek fire. Neat. Oh. So the fact that there are two of the same item here tells me that he just has one of each of these others. Piece of meat, great. Okay, so I want to buy um, this. Considered unseemly to use what you don't own. Okay, so I'd like to drag to my hand. Buy, yes. Okay, I have a torch, great. Thank you for your patronage, sir. Goodbye. I could probably like put it in my back. Ah, whoa, what the? Okay, a billion things just happened at once. <laughs> I think the shop closed. All right, so I don't want to burn that torch while it's not, while I'm not in a place that needs it to be burned. Uh, time passes so strangely in this game. This is a hard thing to get used to. All right, so I definitely want to go see Antiphos, the ruler, again. Um, he had things to say, but he's not here. It's too late already. Man, time passes so fast. Okay. I ate my food. Feels like it would almost be better to um, go back and uh, just, like, restart <laughs> with the knowledge I have now. Okay, this is Electra and Theocritus. Great. Um, restart so I don't, like, use up all that time and food and stuff. So I'm merely hurt now, so my health does restore on its own very slowly. I was I was wounded before. Woman comes out at midnight. I'm always here at night for some reason. All right, so I am looking for a sewer. I don't think I really have anything to do at night at the moment. Um, this was the prison here. I want to look inside when it's lighter outside. There's a crack in the stone. Hold on, can I do something with this? This is not the keyhole, is it? Whoa! Okay, I was able to just open that. What? I think I found the place. Okay. Perfect city key. Opens one of the many doors in Athenia. One of the many doors, all right. So I got a key and I found... I ho oh. As you enter this room, you sense danger. What is this? Scepter of Lordly Might. That sounds neat. Um, ouch. Uh, a shadowy stalker rends to you. I'm mauled. I'm probably going to die here. Um, I enter an ancient tomb. I do. Where at? What? Uh, what have I done? Ouch. Okay, I died. All right. Um, well, I got the knowledge from Damocles the Seer. I'm restarted back where I was. I haven't been to the shop yet, though. 
but I do know things. Right, so this is Electra and Theocritus's house, right? I think. It's hard to tell in the dark. In the dark. Okay, so the keyhole shape as it turns out, is just a thing I can open with my hands. I don't need to insert a key, just do this. And I receive a key. <laughs> Enter the keyhole to receive a key. That's how things work. <laughs> All right, so I got a city key. Um, without a torch, I don't want to go there. And I'm not sure I want to go there uh, anyway. A crack in the stone, so can I use on this? It does not fit the lock. But that is a lock. Uh. Okay, so it just says that no matter where I use it. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's find out where this key uh, is used. Does it open the prison? No. Oops, I say just keep that open. Refuses to budge. Does not fit the lock. Refuses to budge. Does not fit the lock. All right, so there's a locked door somewhere, probably, that this key unlocks, probably. Don't know where or what. All right, can't see anything out there. Now that it's light, a couple of things. I want to visit Mr. Jones again and buy his... Um, his torch. I also want to look... The prison is empty. Got it. Okay, good to know. As it's daytime... Okay, I sense danger. Enter an ancient tomb. I don't want to do that. I want to go back up. There's a scepter of lordly might there. Are you the one I want to talk to? Paul, I do want to talk to you. I was told to ask you about the crops. How bad has the weather been? Worse than anything. Without any sun, our crops are just dying. The harvest is going to be poor this year. That's terrible. But the worst is not nature, but a human enemy. Someone snuck into my house and stole the sack of seed I was going to use to plant next year's harvest. Mm. Unless I get that back, the Chaos Armies will starve us out for sure, even if they can't defeat our men. How else can I help you, Odysseus? All right. So he lost... A bag of seeds. So I'm looking for guards payroll. Paul's bag of seeds. Uh, I never talked to you, I think. You're Marion, I believe. Hello, Odysseus. What's up, Marion? Paul and I are working hard to bring in the crop. It will be a poor harvest, though. And with our sack of seed gone, next year's will be even worse. Do you know what happened to the next season's seed? Someone stole it. Now, there won't be any crops next season, even if the sky clears up by some miracle and we manage to get something out of this harvest. How did the theft happen? I was out by the old island one night, washing our clothes, when a figure came running up to me. Whoever it was didn't see me and ran through a shallow part of the river and onto the island. Oh, I thought for sure it was a marauder of chaos that managed to get over the walls. I thought I'd be kidnapped, just like poor Theocritus's daughter, Zalus. So I fled home as fast as I could. When I got there, Paul was in a rage, swearing the seed was stolen. You must have seen the thief. If it was the thief, young man, it was a thing not of this world, and it is best not to be interfering with it. No Athenian would steal that seed. Without it, we'd all starve. No, it was some twisted, evil thing of chaos, and I'm only thankful that I escaped with my life. You don't have much longer to be thankful. <laughs> How else can I help you, Odysseus? <laughs> okay. Uh, so I, all right, so this is the island then. So there's a shallow patch I can walk across, maybe. All right. Uh, you're the one I want to talk to, Vern. Hello, Odysseus. Did you hear about the tra traitor? Tons, lots of tongues wagging about that. I think I tried this. I spelled it right. What's this about a traitor? Why does it work now? Last time I tried this, he couldn't tell me about it. Aye, there's a traitor loose. Everyone's sure of it. Too many strange things going. Maybe something was just broken last time? Master Paul got his seed sack stolen, so even if the sky clears up, we'll never be able to plant next season's crops. In addition, the bad guys seem to have a sixth sense about our troop movements on the walls. That's despicable. Daedalus saw something suspicious in the shop. You might ask about it... You might ask him about it if you're interested. Okay. Something like this interests us all. 
All right. Are you Daedalus? No, that's Smith. All right. Uh, okay, great. So I need to talk to Daedalus about the... About the what now? Um, suspicious in... Daedalus saw something suspicious in the shop. Traitor. So ask Daedalus about traitor. Is this him? He sleeps, probably. That's Homer. All right, Daedalus, blue shirt. Uh, okay, great. I missed my chance to visit the shop while it was still daytime. Boy, these days are short. Everything happens so fast. I just, I cannot keep up. Let's not get attacked by another boar in the forest, if avoidable. Uh, so, during the night, why don't I see if I can get onto this island? I can't use key repeat. I have to have to input every move individually. So somewhere here there might be a shallow portion of this. Calm water. I'll just press against every part of the water and see if I can go across it. It's morning again. I found the shallow... well... Oh shoot, I fell unconscious. Every time I go in the water. What? Oh dear, this is terrible. <laughs> Lots of time passed. Also, my backpack's been open this whole time. Stamina blacking out. Oh, I have to I have to rest. I see. Jeez. Okay. Wow. How do I handle this? Okay, so I think that Oh, I get tired from sleeping. That's how it is. Okay, so I'm rested. My health goes up when I do that. My def Something happened to my defense. No, I can't. There we go. I managed it. All right, so swimming is incredibly tiring. I see myself. There's a city key there. All right. So I have two keys now. Cool. So perhaps that will unlock the house where the seed was stolen, was it? All right, so I'm going to have to rest again and, like, pass so much time. I... Starvation staffs my strength. Okay, so eat food. <laughs> Four bites of meat. Eleven bites of meat. <laughs> I'm going to, like... Like, I'm going to starve to death, not just the, the rest of the city. Um... <laughs> Because time passes so fast. Is this running properly? Like, I wonder. This is day six of the Odyssey. <laughs> I've accomplished basically nothing. There's Daedalus. I need to talk to you. Um, traitor. Have you heard about the traitor? Uh, who hasn't? It's a terrible business to think that someone could betray our city and everything we love. But I have kept my eyes open, and I think I might know who it could be. Who? It's only a suspicion, but from an incident I saw, it's not worth bothering you with. The king has ordered us to cease telling traitor stories. I think he is right. We must not start turning against each other now, when the greatest threat lies outside the walls. From an incident I saw. Okay, so tell me about this incident. Have you heard about the traitor? Who hasn't? Someone could embarrass you. I have kept my eyes open and I think I might know who it could be. Who? Only a suspicion from an incident I saw. Not worth bothering you with. The king has ordered us to cease telling traitor stories. So he won't tell me. What do you need? to solve this problem. Do you need the king to stop telling you that? Like, do I have to ask the king to tell him to start telling traitor stories? Uh, all right, stamina is stumbling. I do want to visit the shop. Um, I'm going to just rest briefly. Okay, great. So you're, you're open. I want to buy a torch. 
Yes, great. Okay, I have a torch, and now I have light. Good stuff. Um, again, I'll keep it not in my hand when I'm not specifically... Uh, when I, hold on, if I'm here, I should ask Joseph about um, the payroll. Okay, well, he just tells me everything up front. I don't need to specifically ask him. All right, so Antiphos, I want to speak to you. Uh, I have just received news about the city's status. Do I say status? How fares the city, my lord? Badly. The guard is faltering again beneath the attacks of the chaos demons. He rubs his eyes. There is no end to them. When a lad dies to take, uh, when a lad dies to take out a demon, three more step in to take its place. Where can I find replacements for our lads? Take heart, sire. I am on a quest to defeat the monster, uh, the mas master of the demons, an evil being called Nokhurthu, who lives deep beneath the city. If I can destroy him, the city will be saved. Where did you get that idea? From the wisest man in the city, barring yourself, your highness, Damocles the seer. He had a vision of the truth, and I saw it verified with my own eyes. Nokhurthu exists. I have seen him. What is this Nokhurthu? You describe the Chaos Master to your king. He is like an evil thought, your majesty, uh, majesty, that comes shivering over you like a shadow over a sunlit glade. Yet his power is great, though his presence is subtle. He can strike evil anywhere in the world. Then your quest is noble, Odysseus. If you succeed, you will be the greatest hero Athenia has ever known. Yet I don't fight for that reason, majesty. I fight because it is the only thing to do. What else can I help you with? Traitor. What do you know about the traitor, sire? There is no traitor, Odysseus. That rumor has great potential to turn citizen against citizen. Please don't stir it up again. There may be some truth to it, Highness, but I will say no more of it, of it if that is your wish. Okay. Well, um, so that dead ended. All right, um, it's been a bit since I saved. I should really save and like use a different slot. So slot two is my save now. All right, let me make one more run at this uh, lordly scepter or whatever inside the, possibly the sewer. I need to get like a quieter keyboard when this game doesn't play like any sound. Uh, there isn't any danger here that Odysseus can currently sense, huh? Oh, but the shadowy stalker rends you. What the... Okay, good thing I saved. Okay, so this is a ridiculously dangerous place, as it turns out. Okay. Is that the way... That's the way to something. There's a crypt in there. Alright, let me save here and save myself some walking, because I'm gonna, like just do a bunch of this and like just figure out what this game wants from me so on the ground I'm gonna take this and run I could not take it and run so health is good take cannot okay so I just cannot survive that but I can go through here and be okay so as long as I pass through immediately, as you approach this door, a terrible fear overcomes you. From behind it, you hear a ghastly moaning, a series of raging cries, heartbroken lamentations. Each inhuman shriek fills your bones with shivering terror. All right, let's go in here and die. Oh yeah, this is bad. You see Antiphos the warrior, same name as the king? This tormented soul pays no allegiance to the Chaos Master, but only to the twisted despair eating its own dead heart. It paces around a statue of a beautiful woman, moaning and ripping at its head. Can I talk to it? Spectre, what is your torment? My love, my love, she has turned to stone. Look upon that likeness there, sir. What do you see? A stone statue of a beautiful woman. Not just any statue, fool. The statue of my love, fair Julia. Oh, uh, Antiphos and Julia, right. Once I was a proud warrior, one of the strongest in the land, and she was queen of one of the Theb Thebican? Thebican cities. Passion and fear for her filled my senses, as if I were an artist beholding the most exquisite rose, long we courted. Always she maintained a queenly demeanor, 
never fluttering or blushing as other women do when I spoke of love, only coolly refusing me when I asked her to share the delights of the bedchamber. Finally, I asked her hand in marriage, and she promised me an answer after my battle against the Derendai. Yet I died in that battle, and never heard a word from her lips again. Your stomach growls. <laughs> and your desire for her love kept you from leaving to the land of the dead, is that right? What other explanation can there be? I am doomed to wander here eternally, carrying my love for her in my breast, perpetually in agony for not knowing whether she returned it. I would think that you've had enough time to forget her. Fool! How can I forget one more exquisite than the goddess of love herself? Ah, if you have nothing more to say, get out and leave me to my sufferings. Sure. I would help you, Spectre. If you can find some evidence that Julia loved me, bring it to me, and my weary spirit will be lightened and will float to its proper heavenly abode. If you do so, you will have ended the sufferings of an eternal soul, and will have earned more virtue and praise than I can say. I will do what I can. All right, so this was described by uh, Seer Damocles. I think I'm in the crypt now. I feel like I skipped some stuff. So maybe by opening that hole in the wall... The stomach growls. Yes, I understand. Maybe by opening that hole in the wall... I have no food. I'm going to have to buy some from uh, Shopman. Oh, geez, what was that? So there's a pressure plate here. I don't trust that in the slightest. Uh, there's like a cannonball going across and shooting that spot, so I really don't want to step there, huh? Looks incredibly dangerous here. I'm leaving. I'd love to pick up that, that scepter, but I just, I, it's, I can't stand there without just dying. Okay, I'm going to see if I can buy some meat from that man. That man right there. I'd like to buy some meat. Still don't know how to earn money. Uh, value two. Okay, it's not too expensive. I would like this. And I'd really like another. Gonna need it. I hope he restocks. Now, do you have anything that is... Scepter of Friendship. Win friends and influence people. I don't think you sell a thing that the Scepter would probably accept as a token of love from Julia. I mean, that has a heart on it. That's what made me think of this idea. Um, that sounds useful to have, but it's too expensive for me. Okay, so you do still have another torch that I could buy... I assume you, like, restock occasionally, maybe? Okay, so I am beginning to get an idea of how this game works. I have two keys that I can try somewhere in the city. I have some quests. I have a dungeon to explore. I feel like that's the wrong entrance. Maybe one of these keys will actually lead me to the sewer. Maybe the sewer is that place I have to pass through super quick or else I die. Maybe not. I don't know. All right, so at least I'm getting an idea of how this game works. I figured out how to talk to people. I didn't do anything different. It just happened to work this time when it didn't last time. <laughs> and I don't know why. All right, cool. Uh, I'll see you next time to keep exploring.